Right tonight, a mother is warning others after her five year old son died and doctors believe this may be a case of bacterial meningitis. The Montgomery County Public Health District says the case was reported to them on New Year's Eve. Miles Cheatham's family tells KHOU the boy fell ill on December 28th. He died just two days later at Texas Children's Hospital up in the Woodlands. Health officials say Miles' family was given preventative treatment. They also say there's no risk to the general public, but it is important to know the symptoms of bacterial meningitis. David Gonzalez breaks down what you need to know to protect yourself and your family. Health experts say that not everyone who comes in contact with the bacteria that causes meningitis will get sick, so it's extra important that you're aware of your body. For most people, the acquisition uh, goes unnoticed. Dr. Hannah El Sali says bacteria that causes infections like meningitis are everywhere and are very serious. People with weaker immune systems are more likely to develop meningitis. It's usually coming in contact with someone who has uh, the bacterium in their uh, upper respiratory tract and uh, transmission to another person. Dr. Elsa Lee says the disease causes inflammation of the lining of the brain. She says getting sick can happen really quickly. Symptoms to be on the lookout for include fever, headaches, stiffness of neck, nausea, and vomiting. A neurologic finding like fever and all of a sudden inability to move or having particular uh, neurologic dysfunction. Dr. Elsa Lee says it's important to keep track of how you're feeling, especially when something seems out of the ordinary. Fever on its own uh, that resolves or that responds to um, certain medications should not be uh, alarming. Experts also say that hygiene and also keeping up with your vaccines are really important to lower your chances of developing infectious diseases like meningitis. Back to you.